Hi everyone. In this video, we will be talking about sharing content in Microsoft Teams. From time to time, you may be asked to share assignments and projects with your classmates, teachers, and other participants in your Microsoft Teams meeting or class. The Microsoft Teams share content feature allows you to share a variety of media such as Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, pictures, drawings, PDF files, audio, and video files. So let's start. Here we see a Microsoft Teams meeting already in progress. To share content, we go to the control bar, which is located in this instance to the top of your screen, and we click on the share content button. Clicking on a share content button opens up the share content panel, which you can see here. And this share content panel allows us now to determine what we will be sharing and how we will be sharing that content. If you are sharing content that has sounds such as a PowerPoint presentation with music or a video which has background music, conversation or narration, you will want to enable the include computer sound, which we see here. Enabling the include computer sounds function will allow you to share the sound with your classmates and your teachers in other words your classmates and teachers will hear the sounds in the video or the music in your presentation to enable the include computer sound function you simply click on the slider or drag the slider to the right and now we have your include sound your include your computer sound function turned on Next, we need to determine how you are going to share your content. When you share content in Microsoft Teams, you have the option of either sharing a screen or sharing a window. Here you can see two screens and I currently have eight windows open. You can also share PowerPoint. Uh, you can share your whiteboard and, or you can browse your system, your computer or your OneDrive to be able to share a file. Let's look at sharing your screen. By clicking on the screen, selecting the share screen option, it simply means that whatever appears on the screen will be shared with the participants in the meeting. So for example, if we open up Microsoft Paint, Paint is shared with the participants in the meeting. If we place a Word document in the, in the screen, then that Word document appears and it will, whatever you type in this screen here on the document will be shared with the participants in the meeting. Selecting the share screen option when you share this way allows you to easily switch between apps and to be able to share multiple apps or files um, such as a document drawing picture video um, one after the other or you can simply or easily switch between them when you are ready to stop sharing you can open back up your meeting and use the stop sharing function, which is basically your share button in sharing mode. Depending on what you have to share, we may also decide to share an app window. This simply means that only the app window will be shared and whatever, whatever contained within that window will be shared with the other participants in the meeting. So let's look at whatever windows we have open. So I have several documents open. Let's look at this Word document. If I choose to share this Word document, then whatever appears in this document will be shared with the participants in the meeting. If I minimize or maximize, uh, if I change the size of the window and I move the window around, only that app window is shared with the participants in your meeting. So it is important 
to determine what exactly you want to share. Sharing an app window will give you a certain level of privacy because if you have other windows open or other apps open and you accidentally click on an app when you share screen, whatever, remember, whatever appears on the screen shares. So if you are not sure what you want to share, you should always choose to select your app window. Regardless of whether you share your app window or you share your screen, your meeting window minimizes or it becomes a smaller and it usually uh, appears as a rectangle on a corner of your screen. To be able to stop sharing, you need to go to the share button again and stop sharing and you will then return to your meeting interface. I hope this video makes your sharing experience on Microsoft Teams uh, a pleasurable and uh, user-friendly exercise and I hope you enjoy your Microsoft Teams class. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.